Pluto has an amazing story. For us humans, it started in the 1840s with Urbain Le Verrier, a French astronomer. Using classical mechanics, he predicted Pluto's existence and position after analyzing perturbations in the orbit of Uranus. Following this prediction, many projects have been led to find the mysterious planet. And sadly, some researchers looked for it until their deaths, even taking pictures of it without recognizing it for what it was. It is only in 1930 that Pluto has finally been discovered, becoming the first object in the Kuiper belt and the ninth planet of our solar system. But since 1990, Pluto has had its status as a planet put into question several times. This is due to the discovery of objects of similar size in the Kuiper belt, including Eris, a dwarf planet, and the scattered disk. All these questions led to the sad year 2006 for many amateur astronomers. To understand what happened this infamous year, let's first take a look at the definition of a planet. In August 2006, after much debates, the International Astronomical Union, the IAU, has issued the final revision of the definition. The text states that a celestial body in our solar system can be considered a planet if it meets these three conditions. First, it must orbit the Sun. Second, it has to be massive enough to be rounded by its own gravity. And third, it must have cleared its neighboring region. So how does it relate to Pluto? After much discussions, considering the new definition of a planet, in 2006 Pluto has been demoted to a dwarf planet. Indeed, Pluto has not cleared its orbits from other massive objects, and so fails to comply with the definition. This decision was not well received by many people, experts or amateurs, and still causes much debates in the scientific community. Please do not subscribe if you prefer to enjoy this wee bliss of ignorance.